Hi guys, my name is Bas and welcome to episode number 17 of my SPSS tutorials. Today we're going to have a final look at mediation in a multiple linear regression model and we're going to take a look at the Baron and Kenny method to be more specific. I do recommend watching episode 10, 15 and 16 first because they give a little bit more uh, uh, explanations about the basics of a regression model and a multiple linear regression model and mediation. So I do recommend watching those first, but you're not obligated to do so because I will ex of course explain everything in this video as well. So uh, if this video is helpful to you in any way, shape or form, then please leave a like to this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel because I want to make this channel grow as much as possible. It's my big dream to make PassPSS famous. So please help me uh, by leaving a like on the video. It would be very much appreciated. If you have any questions regarding this matter, then of course feel free to leave a question in the comment section down below. So today we're going to take a look at the Baron and Kenny method. And it's kind of, it's the explanation behind mediation. And uh, I've uh, for this uh, I for today I've uh, opened up my PowerPoint. Uh, if you want a PowerPoint like this, uh, it explains all the SPSS basics in one single PowerPoint presentation. It explains all kind of uh, regression of uh, uh, of regression of uh, uh, correlations, uh, uh, reliability tests, and everything. Then uh, please contact me, and then we can see what we can sort for you. So. Um, the direct relationship between an independent and a dependent variable can be seen over here. For example, in the if we still use the same, if we still use the same uh, uh, relationship as we used in the previous two episodes, then you could say that the job tier. So as we could see over here, the job tier has a direct effect on your income because if your job tier increases, if you go from tier one to tier two then your income increases as well from 20,000 to 40,000 uh, monthly. But uh, this is a direct effect, uh, which you can see over here, that the direct effect, uh, for example, is 0 0.068. But what we saw in the previous two episodes is that if you add a mediator, in this case, uh, for example, the, uh, the salary, then we saw that that kind of explains the relationship between the independent and the dependent variable. In this case, it was, in our uh, original case, it was, if your job increases, so your job tier increases, then your salary increases. And because your salary increases, your income increases. So that kind of explains the original direct relationship between job and income. So if you would look at mediation over here, then job to income is called, that relationship is called C. But if you then split it out by also inserting the mediator, then the direct relationship, which remains, is called C apostrophe. And you can also see the relationship between the independent and the mediator is called A. And the relationship between mediator and the dependent variable is called B. So job to income is called C apostrophe, job to salary is called A, and the regression, so the effect, so the relationship between uh, salary and uh, income is called B. And uh, because it gives an explanation, so an in-depth explanation on how the relationship as a whole works, it is can also be seen as a formula, which we can see over here. C is C ap uh, apostrophe plus A times B. So the whole relationship between X and Y, so between the independent and the dependent variable called C, is the same as the remaining relationship between X and Y, so C, uh, uh, C apostrophe, plus the regression effects of A times B. So uh, from the independent to the mediator, from the mediator to Y. So it's uh, so you can all uh, so hereby it's mathematically proven that uh, the model works as a whole, and you can actually calculate all these uh, all these regression effects like you would normally do. So from x to y, so first you need to find out c, which is x to y. Well, if we go into our data set, x to y was job to income. So you go to regret uh, to analyze. 
regression, linear, and then the, uh, let's get this out for a second. It saved those from the previous episodes. So, and then job. Yeah. Okay. So the uh, dependent variable is called income. The independent variable is called job for now. And if you then press paste and go to the syntax, select the syntax, press the big green play button, then in your outcome, output, the output page, you can see that the coefficients table at the bottom, you can see that just like in the previous two episodes, the relationship between job and, uh, between job and income is still 19,800. Important, very, very important, is that this Baron and Kenny method doesn't work with the slopes. So in this case, you're not going to work with 19,800, but you're going to work with the betas. The beta is the slope divided by the standard deviation. So how many standard deviations is, uh, so in how many standard deviations is the actual effect? So we're not going to work with 19,800, but with the coefficient, uh, standardized coefficients, so the beta, which is 0.968. So if you go to a word model, and I'm going to delete this for now, and C is C apostrophe plus 8A times B, then C in this case is 0 0.9, what else can we see, uh, 0.968. So this is the beta, so the uh, standardized effect of the direct relationship between job and income. But what we're going to do now is that we're going to add the uh, that we're going to add the mediator the mediator into our regression model, thereby making it a multiple linear regression model. And it's the same as we did in the last two episodes, so it shouldn't be a problem for you now. We go to analyze, we go to regression, linear. And then we leave job as an independent. Then you press, uh, click on next. And they're going to add salary as an independent as well. Then you press paste. Then you go to the syntax. Select the syntax. Press run. And then if you go to the bottom, you can see the coefficients. The first model is still the same as it was. So that it shows the direct effects or the direct C. But you can see that the new C, so C apostrophe, so the effect from job on income, with a mediator taken into account, that the beta is now 0.766. So we know that the C apostrophe, so the new direct effect from job to income, so from X to Y, is 0.766. Plus, well, we don't know A yet, so I'm going to leave that open for now. And B was, if you're going to take a look at our, uh, we have now calculated C and C apostrophe, so the new C, and the effect from the mediator to income, so from salary to income, is called B. And in our, uh, in our table, the beta of salary to income is 0.262. Is 0.2. 6, 2. Now the only value remaining is A. And if you take a look at the model, A is the relationship, so the effect between the independent variable and the mediator. So between, in, uh, between job and salary. Then you just need to make a new regression model with a new independent and a new dependent variable. So you go to analyze, to regression, to linear, uh, you take out all the previous variables because you just want to start over again. Why? Okay. And the independent is still job, but this time not income is the dependent, but salary. So we're going to uh, find out the relationship between job and salary. So between the independent and the mediator, which is now the dependent. Then you press paste. You go to your syntax. You select the code, you press run, and then you can see that the effect from job to salary, it, that the slope is 1.488, uh, and in uh, standardized 
and that the beta is 0 0.770. is 0. Point, uh, that a is 0. 0.770 so if you do uh, and now you can take out your calculator and do 0. 0.766 plus 0. 0.770 times 0. 0.262 then you get to a total of 0. 0.968 which is exactly the same as c so we have now proven that the direct model, so that the betas of the new model, if you add them up and multiply them, give the same amount, so the same relationship as x to y. So now we've proven that all the direct new effects and that the mediator, uh, its effect is in fact the same as the previous, uh, is the same as the previous complete effect. So that is going to be it for now. I hope it makes uh, sense. It's a bit deeper um, and it's more as a way to prove things more than that you would actually use this in your thesis. You're not obligated. I don't think you're obligated to use this in your thesis, but it's more as a way to prove that mediation actually works because it shows that by adding a mediator, the total effect remains the same as it originally was okay so that was going to be it for now uh, i hope that this that this tutorial was helpful for you if it was then please leave a like on this video and subscribe to this channel i'll be back somewhere the coming days with uh, the final type of variable in a multiple linear regression model being moderation so uh, until then enjoy the rest of your day bye bye